Hi, I'm Mark Allen from Roland, and welcome to the next of our tips on the V600 UHD multi-format switcher. In this video, we're going to look at I.O. On a previous video, we looked at the scalers and the flexibility they offer. In this video, we're going to concentrate on assigning those sources internally. In the first example, we're going to look at the input menu. Quite simply, if we dive into the assign scaling menu, we have the option to use either the default physical connection or a shared source from any of the other channels. This is particularly useful if you're using the ROI feature, where a single source can be shared across multiple channels, but with different zoom and crop values. Secondly, we can go into the cross point assign menu. And in here, we can assign any cross point to any channel. This means that we have the ability to lay out our sources in any window or workflow that suits you for your particular event. Now let's have a look at the outputs. We scroll up to the output menu. You notice there are five outputs, three HDMI, one SDI, and of course the multi-view. Each of the HDMI outputs can be freely assigned between either program, preview, or auxiliary buses, which means you could run up to three discrete mixes simultaneously. You've also got the ability to down convert on any of those outputs to 1080p. Useful for a number of reasons, but for example, I have a confidence monitor here, which is HD only. We're also streaming live to the internet using this USB converter, and 1080p is a more friendly resolution than 4K for streaming. It may just be that you're recording to a hardware device or software, and 4K would generate too much data for you. Now, because you can have up to three mixes running simultaneously, it is, of course, perfect that we have three discrete rows of buttons for each of those outputs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next of our tips on the V600 UHD multi-format switcher.